hello friends in this lesson we will try to learn uh, establish trust between two different forest so here you can see uh, we have uh, two different domain controller so this is a web server world dot dom and i have prepared our, uh, another forest forest name is webs srv world dot com uh, now we are going to establish a uh, uh, forest wide trust between both domain controllers so let's go here we will click on server manager now tool here active directory domain and trust now we will select a domain controller and click properties in trust section here you can see a new trust option click next here it's asking uh, provide a domain name so here you can see i have already created a conditional forwarder entry for uh, both domain controllers so here you can see uh, domain name is wipsrvworld.com and here i have created a wipsserverworld.com conditional forwarder entry for resolving this domain now click next here you will get uh, two option external trust and forest trust so here we are going to uh, establish a forest level trust so in external trust is a non trust team trust between a domain and another domain outside the forest a non transitive trust is bounded by the domains in the relationship and here uh, forest trust means a forest trust is a transitive trust between two forest that allow users in any of the domain in one forest means like suppose that if we will create any child domain under wipsrvworld.com or uh, if there is any child domain under wipsserverworld.com then they can access resources of each domain so click next now here asking for a uh, one way incoming or one way outgoing means uh, you can define a communication type like a one way or two way so we will going to establish a two way trust for accessing uh, each other domain resources click next now it's asking a uh, create a trust for following this domain only this option create a trust relationship in a local domain no we required a both this domain and a specified domain means uh, it will create a trust on a <coughs> web server world and also make an entry on web server world dot dom now here it's asking for a uh, user id and password means admin access required for enabling a trust so here you can see a specified domain is web server world dot dom then here we will provide a web server world dot dom administrative id and password now it's validating a credential so now here you can see a credential has been validated and it's asking for a forest wide authentication so we will select a forest wide authentication and here uh, you can see you are also getting a selective authentication means selective authentication means after establishing a tr establishing a trust you can uh, share uh, individual resources for accessing uh, within a forest so we will go with a forest wide authentication click next here we will go with a forest wide authentication because we are not going to perform any selective authentication now 
here you can see this domain web server world.com and this specify domain web server world.com trust type forest trust transitive yes outgoing trust authentication level forest wide authentication in local and is specify forest and side of trust create the trust of both this domain and is specify domain means we are not uh, we have created a trust on this domain and other forest domain so it will automatically create an entry in forest domain also so click next next yes confirm the outgoing trust yes confirm the incoming trust next finish so here you can see our uh, trust entry created now next step is here we will click on properties and here you can see you have to click on validate so when you will click on validate it will ask for a password prompt so uh, we will give uh, password for web server but uh, dot dom domain Yeah, here you can see trust has been validated. Now, do you want to update the name suffix routing information for this trust? Yes. Now, we will uh, do the same thing for this one. Incoming trust. Now, click on validate. Now validation done. Let's go to web uh, server world .dom and check trust entry is created or not. So we will go on web server world .dom, active directory domain and trust. Click on properties trust. So here you can see uh, WIFS SRV world.com entry is also created on web server world.com. So our trust external trust has been configured successfully. Thanks for watching friend.